It is smelling with its tongue. Columbus Metro Park's 31 day camps are full this summer, part of a program that has fostered environmental education for youngsters over the past 16 years. Camp coordinator Lou Talheimer noticed how this year's heat has changed the behavior of her specimens. Through the heat, try to bury themselves um, in the ground when it gets really warm. A mild winter and warmest spring on record have made insects way more active this year. Historic heat brought ticks out in late March, giving them a higher chance of becoming infected on the forest floor. And that poses a challenge to counselors and park rangers who want everyone to be safe. So they've been finding a lot more ticks and that can be associated with, with the weather, with it being a lot warmer sooner this year. Their ticks are going to be out searching for food um, and with more people here in the parks, more dogs more food sources, you're going to have more ticks. The most common Ohio tick is the American dog tick. Fewer than 2% carry Rocky Mountain spotted fever, but it does cause fever, headache, muscle pain, and a rash. About two dozen cases are reported in the state every year. Ohio State University entomologist Susan Jones tracks ticks and insects in the lab and says cold-blooded organisms thrive in our extreme heat. We, we saw ticks much earlier this year, and we also are seeing much larger numbers. They love to sit on the edge of these tall grasses here on the edge of the trail. As your dog walks by, they'll attach to it. To avoid becoming a host for ticks when taking a walk on local trails, stay near the center of the trail. Tuck your pant legs into your socks. Light-colored clothing allows you to spot a tick and check your pet carefully after a walk in the woods. Meteorologist Ben Gelber, NBC4, Columbus. Okay.